welcome to Astrophotography Japan. Thank you for joining me here today on a beautiful day in the park in Yokohama. I'm JP Astro Guy. And today I'm going to show and tell you about a new product that was sent to me by Zerboni. And that's the SV225T tripod. You can see it here. This is a aluminum pipe design tripod, 32 millimeters in diameter. It has two sections to its legs. When fully extended, it stands 900 millimeters off the ground. When folded up, it's only half a meter, so 50 centimeters or so, which is quite compact. It weighs about 2.2 kilograms, so fairly light. It's got a flat top design, so this is not a camera tripod. This is designed specifically for mounts used for uh, telescopes. So as long as you've got a mount that can accommodate the 3 8 inch screw here then you could probably use that mount with this tripod. But Zerboni designed it with their SV225 manual alt as mount in their mind of course and so I'll demonstrate that for you in just a moment. What else can I tell you about it? Well it actually has a spreader here that is used to hold open the legs and to make this very secure and stable. So I'll show you how to use that. Of course, the first thing you'll need to do for a night of visual astronomy is to set up your tripod. And I've done that here. Here's my SV225 Altaz manual mount from Zerboni. And I reviewed this in some previous episodes of Astrophotography Japan. Please check it out. But you can see, this is a metal base, and this is a metal stand here. And I don't like having metal connected to metal like that, so I went to the hardware store, and I bought a round-cut, two-millimeter thick piece of rubber. And I cut a hole out of the middle of this that I can put here on the tripod. And then this rod you can push up to insert the 3 8 inch screw through that hole. Then I can screw on my Altaz mount. And we can hand tighten that to get started here. Okay. Give it a nice firm tighten. And now we can get the spreader plate and this little mechanism that was provided to hold the spreader plate into place. Now the plate has got a flat side and it's got a kind of like a, a grooved side here. That grooved side goes up on top. And before I put this on though, let me describe to you this thing. Because uh, this comes with a small little Allen screw and an Allen wrench. And that's supposed to be used to secure this plate underneath the tripod base here. But that little Allen wrench and screw, not exactly convenient and easy to use, especially in the winter time with gloves when you're all cold. So I went to the hardware store and picked up a M6 wing nut that I put here instead. And that makes it very quick and easy. And so we just thread that on like that, put this with the wing nut side of it on the bottom, hand tighten that wing nut, and then I can rotate the top part of this mechanism and that begins to push apart the legs to give us some additional stability. So we have a nice tight, stable tripod now and we're all ready to then uh, mount our telescope. Simple.
So this is the usual equipment setup that I employ when I want to do some visual astronomy, either out here in the park or from my home in the backyard. This is the SV48P achromatic refractor from Zerboni. I'm usually using a small prism diagonal finder scope and sometimes a laser pointer to maneuver quickly to objects in the sky. This is a Stellaview prism diagonal and I have a set of the Paradigm EDI pieces from Astronomics. Of course this is on the SV225 Altaz manual mount and the tripod that we've been discussing here today. Now notice if you're going to be doing some visual work with this tripod which is only 900 millimeters off the ground you're bending over quite a bit in order to look at objects high in the sky. And if we even needed to go higher, well then, you're going to go really down on your knees in order to look toward uh, the zenith. So I think this tripod is really designed with seated viewing in mind. It's really about the perfect height if you're sitting down and trying to do some visual astronomy. I like it. It's a nice tripod. It's extremely sturdy. It's a good set and match to the other Zerboni products. It's high quality. And at $75, I think it's a great value. As you can see, I took this equipment setup out on one cold night recently in February and that included the new SV-225T tripod. I enjoyed using it together with my SV-225 manual alt as mount. On the Zerboni website, this product combination is sold as a set. Or one can buy the tripod separately as well. Previously, I said the discounted list price was $75, but my bad, it actually is even discounted more. And, Zerboni even gave me an affiliate coupon code shown here on the screen. That will get you an additional $5 off on the purchase of the mount, tripod, or combination product. To carry and transport the tripod, you will have to provide your own case. So I ordered another one of these tripod carry cases from AliExpress. This L55D16 centimeter version has good padding and can even accommodate the leg spreader triangle. I actually own three of these cases. I use it for my ZWO TC40 tripod and for my G-Hope B560C tripod as well. It is a perfect size for all three. Listed here are some of the key specifications of the SV225T tripod as shown on the Zviboni website. The only thing that surprises me is the loading capacity. They claim that a telescope aperture size of 100 millimeter or gross weight of 3 kilograms is the recommended maximum. But in my opinion, this looks to be very conservative. I believe the tripod is capable of supporting OTA setups considerably heavier than that. The spreader plate design of the SV225T tripod is a welcome touch. It really imparts great stability and security for your equipment, especially if some child, or you, happen to accidentally kick a leg during the night. Also, the tripod has good leg spread for its height. It is about an inch or so wider than the ZWO TC40 tripod model. I certainly won't hesitate to use this tripod anytime for visual astronomy with my SV48P or MK105 telescopes. I think it might also be a good alternative option for astrophotography as well. Perhaps smaller lightweight tracking mounts and refractor combinations would be acceptable. For instance, I would trust it with my AZ GTI mount and 60mm refractor with no concern. Well, I think that is about all I got. I'm happy to see that Sviboni is building out their product lines with complementary products designed to synergize and be sold at competitive prices. 
Obviously from the photos I presented here, you can see that I am a happy customer and strong believer in the cost performance of their equipment. And just to be clear, these are my opinions and Zverboni did not influence the content of this video or any of my remarks. Thanks for tuning in to Astrophotography Japan. I am JP Astro Guy in Yokohama. My name is Paul Cheesejal, and whether you are imaging deep sky objects or doing visual astronomy, I'd like to wish you clear skies and time to enjoy it.